guys it's past mind kidding is relining and welcome back to another reading fan fiction my fan fiction past my pro hero story so we should just get started today we'll be reading chapter 17 and 18. chapter 17 the aftermath math said during season 4 episode 14 i was rushing to the hospital before sometime before marie managed to find that she where she is hike i was keeping airy there we were there they're going to ha going to raid the base and rescue her i still haven't told marie about the baby and i already know it now is definitely not a good time i didn't join the, ra the raid because of the baby but i remain in the in the main base as mission control type of thing while waiting for the return i kept having this bad feeling when i was told that marie Murray was badly injured by overhaul the leader of the she is like i i first seen you sorry i started rushing to the hospital i had the prop the positive pregnancy test with me once i got to the hospital the doctors told me that he would make a full recovery i rushed to the, his room i opened the door marie i said peggy said marie i ran to him oh my izuku izuku midoriya and mary talk that were in the room also I told you, I promised him I will return to you, said Marie. I saw him. Um, Auntie Teggy said, Zuku, I turned to see him holding the test. You dropped this and congratulations, I said. <laughs> congratulations, said, it, said Izuku. He, gi he gives me the t the back the test. Teggy, is that? Yes, I'm pregnant, I said. Going to be a father, said Marie. Yeah, I couldn't, sorry, I couldn't tell you sooner, I said. It's all right. I know now I'm gonna be a father, said Marie. I can't wait for a child to be born. Now move on to chapter 18, our child. It has been nine months since the Shihe Saikai raid, and yes, I'm nine months pregnant now. It's night now and me and Marie were sleeping. Then I woke up because I felt bed my bed wet. I got up I got up. Sorry, it looks like it froze. Um got up and turned on the light and saw liquid. It was clear. My water broke, I said inside my head. I looked over to Marie. I shake him up, shake him, shake him to wake him up. He wakes up. Is everything all right, Marie? My water broke, I said. He sits up blinking a few times. You're not dreaming, I said. Marie jumped out of bed and helped me out of bed. We got our bags and put them into the car and drove off to the hospital. After the birth, the birth. After giving birth to birth, I was holding our baby boy. He, he's perfect, said Marie. Yeah, he is, I said. We, I'm sorry. I'll be right back. I'm back. I apologize for the rude interruption. Interruption. Then Koru Waka, I can't say her name, aka Bubble Girl, came in. Oh my gosh, Teggy, Marie, he's so cute, said Koroku. I know she said she had a present. Please don't spoil my son too much, said Koru, too much Koroku. I said, Oh, come on, you made me the godmother, said Kuroku. Maybe we made a mistake, said Marie, while taking our son out of my arms to hold him. Marie, I said. What did you name him? asked Kuroku. Sagusu. Sagusu Sasaki? I said with a smile. Marie Saki, aka, aka Sir Night, night a point of view. Peggy fell asleep and I was holding, or, holding Sagusu. He's so small. So I had to use foresight to see how our life is going to be. When I used it, I saw Sagusu, but as a teenager. I can't wait to see see who he will become. He be, who see him become who he is. But that is all for today. I apologize for the dog's interrupt interruption. Well, that is all for today, and I hope you enjoyed this video. And you, if you want to continue reading, or well, technically that's the last chapter, but I technically have two stories in that one chapter. You can find the link to the story in the description below. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this wig the story and you're going to be seeing some words in three two one